Hi, welcome to the Ink Nouveau, the essence of writing passion. My name is Brian Goulet, uh, known as Goulet Pens on the Fountain Pen Network and other various forums that are out there. Um, I'm a pen maker, uh, the Goulet Pen Company, and I'm setting up this video blog as a way to help to use the passion that pen users have uh, into your daily life and to enhance your life through the art of writing. Um, the Ink Nouveau, the reason I chose that as the name for this blog is because I believe that the ink is the essence of everything that is writing. With a pen and paper, it, you can't do anything with it without the ink. The ink is what ties everything together. The Nouveau part is that I'm trying to bring a new young generation into fountain pens, into writing. There's a lot of texting, a lot of blogging and things like that, which are all good and they all have their place. But what I don't want to have happen is to lose the history and to lose all of the experience and the, the art, artistry and, and all of that stuff that goes in with actually physically writing down on the paper with a pen. Because um, I think it, it can just bring your, your thinking to a higher level. So that's on a very broad spectrum what the Ink Nouveau uh, means and what I intend to do with this blog. So. Uh, why writing? Why fountain pens? I get asked that a lot. Why in the world would you do fountain pens? They're not practical, they're, they're passe, things like that. And I happen to disagree with that wholeheartedly. I think that fountain pens are on the upswing. What's happened is you've had a paradigm shift for how fountain pens are being used. They used to be functional. First you had the quills back in like the 17, 1800s and stuff like that. Fountain pens came out and it was great because you didn't have to dip your pen back and forth and back and forth. As soon as ballpoint pens came out in the 1950s, they were far more practical and people stopped using fountain pens. You know, it was a huge drop in, in fountain pen usage. So why would you use a fountain pen nowadays? Well, you wouldn't use it for, for practicality, certainly. You wouldn't even use a ballpoint for practicality. You would type. Typing is the new, the new uh, uh, medium of transcribing your ideas. Um, but what a fountain pen does is it, is it physically ties you to what you're writing. More so what I believe than typing. I type a lot. I'm on forums all the time. I've got this blog, I have a website. Obviously, I spend a lot of time online. But for me, writing is the experience. Writing is about uh, um, transcending beyond technology and beyond those things and, and actually connecting with a physical medium to what it is that I'm writing. And it allows me to, to, to think and pontificate to a level that I just I can't do when I'm typing. So that's it for me. You may have a different purpose for it and certainly there are a lot of other things related to fountain pens that uh, are, are great in terms of you know nice ink and cool colors and, and italic nibs and stuff like that that can give you really cool effects while you're writing. But that is uh, not stuff I'm going to get into today. We'll get into all that stuff later. Today I just want to kind of stick with a broad overview of what this blog is about and what I intend to do with this blog. So um, you've got the uh, the passion. The passion is, is just something that's amazed me with, with everybody with fountain pens. Um, the, the craftsmanship that goes into it. Um, everybody appreciates the craftsmanship and, and nib, nib meisters that spend their entire lives honing their skills on how to adjust a fountain pen nib and just the the, everything that goes into it is just is is so rare and unique these days. Um, people that use fountain pens and are, have have nice long hand have a really nice uh, handwriting is really rare. It's it's not being taught in schools much these days, and and uh, it, it's becoming a rarity and it's becoming a true art form um, more so than a functional form like it used to be. Um, the, and the history that it has too. When, you, when you're writing something with a fountain pen and you're writing something that maybe George Washington wrote down or something that uh, um, you know, Victor Hugo wrote, it, it, it can connects you because you're, you're physically writing just like they did and you can kind of get the same feeling that they had while they were writing. Uh, it's really kind of a cool experience. Um, and, and so what I want to do is, is today is just kind of show you a very broad overview of what I do, what my daily life is like, and what I'm all about in terms of writing and fountain pens. So I, uh, I have the Goulet Pen Company, and kind of the way I started out, I didn't know anything about pens or writing or anything like that. It was funny, I actually started out because I uh, 
my wife and I, uh, Rachel, my wife Rachel and I had just graduated from Virginia Tech and we had our first apartment when we were married um, and I was, uh, I was itching to, to build stuff. I'm, I'm a handy guy and I, I really like to work with my hands. Um, and so we had an apartment, it had a covered balcony. Uh, I was watching the New Yankee Workshop with Norm Abram and I was really into that and I wanted to build furniture and stuff like that, but I just didn't have the space. I didn't have the electricity. This wasn't practical for me to do on uh, an apartment balcony. So I needed something that I could do that was quiet enough where I wouldn't bug my neighbors and that was, uh, you know, uh, something that was manageable to do in an apartment. So I got into pens. I bought a small lathe and I, I knew that pen making was something that a lot of woodworkers did so I uh, kind of got into it like that and, and from the very first day I set up my equipment and I turned my first pen and I was just like wow, <laughs> it just connected, I connected with it and, and to, to a reason I don't even understand to this day why I'm, I've connected with pens and ink and stuff like that um, but I did and it just clicked and, and I made four pens that day and. I was just so pumped and ready to go. Two weeks later, I landed my first corporate order of 120 pens, and I just dove in head first and said, yeah, man, I'm just going to go for it. And, and I did it, and I've, I haven't looked back ever since. So um, where that's led me to today, I've made, gosh, probably over 700 pens at this point, um, and I now retail Clairefontaine, uh, Rhodia, Quovatis, um, Exacompta, the whole, the whole, that whole family of products, the J. Herbon, Inks, um, and uh, I absolutely love it. I love the fountain pen community and I love writing and everything involved with it. So where I'm filming right here, this is my dining room slash shipping facility. Um, when you work out of your out of your home, it's, uh, things can get a little crazy. Um, so you'll get to see, and I'm not going to hold anything back here. I'm not trying to clean up anything special for the video. I'm, you know, things might be a little messy and stuff like that, but you know, that's just how it goes. My wife is eight months pregnant and she's, you know, pretty tired at the end of the day and I'm, you know, not generally the, the tidiest person in the world. So, um, you know, that's, that's just part of who I am and you'll get to understand me a little more that way. But what you see behind me, this is, uh, this is a couple of notebook uh, bookshelves here you can see. Um, I'll pick you up, take you around, give you a little tour. So I've got all of my uh, products here. Lots of fun, fun stuff. Um, this is all the stuff that I have online. Um, I have used a good majority of this stuff and I plan on um, using all of it and reviewing it here on the blog. Um, that's part of my intention. I have some boxes ready to go there. Um, all my inks, which I know some of you are going to be very jealous <laughs> seeing I have all this. Uh, Habanas, Webbies, uh, all that stuff. And yes, that is a high chair there. Uh, we are getting ready. Uh, my wife's going to give labor in probably in about three weeks or so. so. Um, that is my shipping slash dining facility. You can see here, this is our dining table. Uh, we are not able to eat here very often. I ship up all the packages and have bubble wrap and all that whole thing. And, and normally I have uh, packages and stuff staged over here uh, that are getting ready to go. But uh, that's, that's, uh, that's it. That's how things go when you when you work uh, one person. You know, well, my wife and I we both work out of the house, and uh, she's got a full time job. I'm the one doing this here at home uh, full time. So that's uh, that's just how it works.